So we are up to Erech Apayim. Loosely translated, Erech Apayim is tolerance, maybe beyond tolerance, forgiveness. The opposite of chaos, the opposite of anger. And in so many different sources, we see that Chazal had an extremely negative attitude towards anger. In Shabbos Tav Kuf Heyo Medbeis, HaMeshaber Kelim B'chamosoi, Yie Be'enecho Ko'oyved Avoides Ora. If a person would break objects, vessels, out of sheer anger, he should be in your eyes like an idol worshiper. Because he loses control. Like worshiping could be idols is losing your mind, losing control. And in various different sources in this Zohar, they are even more explicit. Kol hakoyes. But in our list, we're dealing with Kenyon Eitoiro. So where do we see a connection between Kaas and a deficiency in learning Toiro? Psochim dev samach vav amud beiz. Kol hakoyes im chochom hu chochmosoi mistalekes. If a person becomes angry, if he's wise, if he's smart, his wisdom will leave him. It will be diminished. Nedorim chav beiz omid beiz. Chazal use even more extreme language. Kol hakoyes. Mishakech talmudo, he will forget his learning. Umosif tipshus. And he will heighten his foolishness. So that directly direct, directly relates to Talmud Torah. Sefer Kahelas, Shlomo HaMelech, who was the wisest of men ever to be, Perik Zayin of Sefer Kahelas, Vekas Becheik Ksilim Yunach. Anger will rest in the laps of the fools. A wise man once said, when we are angry, we're hurting ourselves because of the actions of others. You need to be aware when you become angry, you're hurting yourself. So another wise man once said, when we are angry, we hurt ourselves more than we hurt those we are angry about. And when we forgive, we're doing good to ourselves more than to those that we are forgiving. Anger is an extremely negative trait. Tolerance is so important. Forgiveness even more. So anger will diminish your chachma. You will forget your learning. And when one is forgiving, in a way he emulates a Kodesh Baruch Hu. Boy tid bekun, Chazal teaches had beik bemidotav. A Kodesh Baruch Hu is forgiving. Ki kel moichel v'soleach oto. A Kodesh Baruch Hu is tolerant. Erech apayim. We should be the same. And we are Dovik Bemidois of Shala Kodesh Boch when we try to emulate a Kodesh Boch who's middles and a Kodesh Boch who's ways. We come closer to a Kodesh Boch. And coming closer to a Kodesh Boch means coming closer to Har Sinai, to Kabbalah Satay. So there's a beautiful Hasidic story about two Hasidic masters. Ramendala of Rimanov was the Rebbe. Reb Naftol of Tzvi of Rapshitz was the Talmud, was his chosid, was his disciple. And once Reb Mendele had a reason to be unhappy 
with his disciple, with the Rav Shitzer Rav, Rav Naftali Tzvi. And Naftali Tzvi took off his shoes and he came into this great Rebbe to apologize, to ask for forgiveness, which he received because all the Gedolim, and especially the Hasidic masters following the teachings of the Baal Shem Tov, were always tolerant and always forgiving. But then, Reb Naftola Tzvi said a pshat, which is a spark of genius. In the very first revelation of Moshe Rabbeinu, when he sees the thorn bush burning in fire, the revelation of the sne vehine sne boya beish, vasne eneno ukal. Kodesh Bochu tells Moshe Rabbeinu, Shal na'alecha me'al raglecha. Ki amokam asharat u'emed olay u'ad mas koidesh. Who? The Mishnah says in Avois, Perik Beis Mishnah Yud, Have a zohiya begechaltan shol talmidech hachomim. Be careful, be careful with Talmidei Chachamim, not to hurt their feelings, not to diminish their kavod. Shenishichosa nishichat shu'al, akitzatan akitzat akrav, ulechishatan lechishat saraf. Nishicha, akitza, lechisha, are the first letters, na'al. Na'al, the noon is Nishicha, Nishichatan, Nishichat Shu'al. The ayin is Akitza, Akitzatan, Akitzat Akrav. The lamed of Na'al is Lichisha, Lichishatan, Lichishat Saraf. So the Rav Shetza told the Mendele Merimenov, when a Kodesh Baruch Hu crowns Moshe Rabbeinu, designates him to be the leader of Klal Yisrael in very difficult times, the first thing a Kodesh Baruch Hu indicates to Moshe is, Shal na'alecho. I want no nishichos or nishichas shual. I want no akitzos or akitzat akrav. And I don't want to hear about lechishos or lechishat saraf. Ba'ahavo u'bechem lo. Hu yinahaleim. I want you to lead Klal Yisrael with love, with compassion, with tolerance, and with utmost forgiveness, never with hakpoda. Lo akabdan melamed, velo abayshan lamed. So it should be no wonder that erech apayim, tolerance and forgiveness, are essential in our quest to kabbalas Have a beautiful day.